Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Soviet Lover, but right now, the United Kingdom sends radar parts. The British government has allowed us to import radar parts on a daily basis from them. Doing so will help our anti-aircraft efforts and our technology once. Our scientists reverse engineer the principles of the radar system. We should be on our way to being a radar superpower. We'll be able to see the enemy planes anywhere in the country, which actually hurts like a radar construction speed but for quite a long time, but whatever. And, of course, we're doing, still doing the uh, peanut battalions, but up next, eh, we must do celebrate pre-Soviet officers. Alexander Nevsky and Pieta Bagration were preacher to fought for the country, regardless of the monarchism. And, oh, wow, look at that. We were running out of planes, but, uh, overall, like, we're still holding the front pretty darn well. Not much has really happened since the end of last episode. We've killed 3.1 million Germans, you know, just normal stuff, as we're going to probably increase more. And more and more, more soft attack, more breakthrough, all this type of good stuff. Um, hopefully the Allies can... You know, they're doing pretty okay-ish for now, but we've got some comments to go through, such as do more calm before the storm campaigns. Sure, why not? Someone says I recommend I was I'm recommended to play Italy, and maybe, maybe also play as non-historical Germany, maybe China. Actually, I don't think they have any focus tree. And someone does recommend we call in our allies. We could make more of the comment here. Also, the Italians did invade up here too, which kind of sucks. But right now we're just kind of waiting for the tanks to get over there, so I'm not really too worried about that. The tanks do a pretty good job overall. Um, yeah, this is not great. We can tell the Germans... Actually, let's take a look here. 34 million manpower. They have what? No guns and no artillery. Hmm. If that's the case, we could really end up losing a lot of guys. And push in as hard as we possibly could. Ooh. Of course, then again, I guess we're already out of stuff, but whatever. Uh, since we're here, 42. Grab some more of this. Get some more ground support. Maybe... If they have no more equipment, you should be able to do okay, right, Zukov? Right. Anything here? Yes. Better anti tank, even though we're missing quite a bit. That's okay. Um, there we go. Let me lower that a little bit more. Wow, we need a lot more steel. We need a lot more political power, too. Uh, we probably want to go to, like, closed economy or at least ex limited exports for now. I think that would be good. Outlus. Atlas shrugged. Can you actually win there? Maybe. Not? Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe so? I know it's over river, but still. And we still need more generals as well, which does definitely suck. Um, are they all leaving? There you go. Just kill them all. There you go. Oh, yes. I would like to try a general attack, but... Oh, the Germans are doing pretty darn well over here, too, so... Um, yeah, they're really out of... they got plenty of empty tank And some support equipment, but that's pretty much it. This is not good. Definitely not ideal. Hmm. Well, let them stay there, then. Yeah, I'd love to do a general attack, but that'd be kind of a waste. Alright, follow it up with... The women in aviation. Free religious... Prisoners, we do get more Leninism support, so as long as you don't get involved in politics, all Orthodox priests may for all, walk free. Prepare the American, head to the Persian Gulf, license fighters, get some more divisions. Good stuff, good stuff overall. Oh, if you guys want, head down here. The AI is actually not incredibly stupid by not invading the ports directly and invading around, but then again, they don't even attack. There's where they really should be, but whatever. As long as you keep the pressure up on them, that would be very good. I really want to attack there, but I don't know if there's really much we can do about it. Give them some time, they'll be limited, the horses will be able to walk in there. There you go, and let them just, let them do their thing. Yeah, they definitely stopped attacking. I don't know if we can actually be 20 divisions up. Oh, hello. Oh, they're taking us a little bit more. Please, please, please. Keep going in, guys. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're just dying really fast. That's all. That's all. Aftermath of the Great Purge. Hey, we're done. Nice. Now, fighting on German core territory, which this is, it's going to be very difficult because they do get like a 30% attack and uh, defense bonus on core territory. So, that's going to be good to remember, just because, well, Germany has been max buffed, so. Yeah, that's going to suck. 
Gonna suck a lot. Oh my goodness, they've really pushed him out, haven't they? Holy crap. You guys actually try to win here? Thirty. It's not like it's core territory either, so thirty-two. Thirty. Um Yeah, no, you can't win there. Oh, this war's gonna rage on for a while. We we'll close that one out. Come on, Germany, keep attacking. Try it again. Try it again, because we can't move. <clears throat> they are slowly trying to attack, but. Yeah, we need more planes. I mean, there's nothing we can do if we can't win the air war, right? These guys are like naval bombers and stuff like that. Oh, these are strategic bombers. You guys are attack bombers, which is fine. Yeah, you can't really do much there, can you? You guys stay up there. You guys head south, actually. Uh, I'd love to be able to poke into there, but after this... You guys more fighters. We need them. Gun-wise, how we doing? We're gonna do that too. Oh, we actually have enough aluminum, huh? Surprising, but okay. Mmm, Guangdong. Slightly better. A little more rubber. Key point bombings. Naval mission efficiency. Well, is it possible for them to win here? Mm, and keep throwing these guys here, too. You never know. As we've just been nearly invaded, of course. Oh, they're attacking us through here, huh? There you go, going too. Hey, convoy sunk. Can the tanks do the job? Probably not. That's what we're doing here, waiting for the job to get done. Eight divisions, man. Just so many divisions. Appoint a patriarch. Pray for the nation. Women in aviation. With the men on the ground, a few thousand women serving in the aero detachments would not go amiss. I know supply consumption is really bad right now, but you guys can do it. I know you can. I don't really want to force the attack. That'd be pretty bad for us if we were to do that. They're attacking us just a wee bit, just a wee bit. We have more now. Nice. Keep improving your guns and such, too. Casualty wise, that's pretty high. Three and a half million, though, is pretty good. Nice, look at that. Keep seeing them gone, boys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this, you got this. I mean, aviation and army improvements? Now the shock of the invasion is over, we can get to work improving our army. Man, how can they recover so fast? Definitely pierce each other. I mean, our divisions recover very quickly too, but still. I just want this one tile, man. We've lost 20,000 more people for this, but whatever. We get so close. Hey! Oh, we were so close. We won the battle, and then they came back in there. 
And this is why they're already out of equipment. Oh, we're doing okay, except for anti-tank, but still. Um, they got plenty of anti-tank. Out of guns, artillery, motorized, motorcycles, all that good stuff. Baltic States. Oh, crap. Not again. Yes, please. She insisted. Come on, man. I'm about ready to force it. Ah, oh, screw it. Force it. Kill, kill them all off. Ground support. I mean, they're the ones who declared war. They should be the ones just going right at us the entire time. Make sure they don't get the port. Make sure they don't get the port. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get this. This is stupid. Arm improvements. Arm the troops. Why not? If our soldiers are to succeed, they need more modern weapons. I mean, their tanks are literally dying until they run out, almost. Well, how many more men do they want to lose? Did they get a... I don't think they get a buff the manpower, though. Mm, they, are, they still have a lot of tanks. 3 million manpower. Seems a bit extreme. Uh, service by requirement, maybe? I don't know about that, but... Still... Keep shelling more men in. Wow, there's no way we're done with building ourselves up yet. No way, man. More rubber would be pretty good to get. Yeah, I didn't think there's any way we would finish building infrastructure all over the Soviet Union. Uh, do all this stuff too. That'd be good. Good, good, good. Not that as well. We got plenty of oil. Plenty, 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 plenty of oil. Merely here to serve as a distraction. And it's not enough. Kaz is so stupid. If you want to go to war, you just keep fighting us then. Ah. Nice. Uh, get some better planes. Maybe it's 43, of course. Yeah. Using some old, outdated planes. This is all the comments to our allies in the Great Patriotic Wars. So hasn't to work with us due to our position as a head. All the comments international. If we dismount it, they may feel better about us. Oh, screw that. Heck no. Arm the troops. Call it a sacrifice? Yeah, why not? Sacrificing one step for the nation is a noble sacrifice of all. We will make sure that our soldiers understand this. There we go. Thank God. How many men have we lost? Jesus. We both like an ex lost like an extra 100,000. Um, I guess I'm going to go to like limited exports or something. Yeah, let's go limited. Hope these guys learned something here. Um, Romania still needs to be touched. Well, not in a weird way, but touched. Go boom, boom, boom. See what we can do up there. Nice. Just keep thinking whatever they got. 
called a sacrifice are the allies that's still holding on Spain too so yeah not bad it could be a lot better Call to sacrifice followed up with new tank designs mechanized rocketry and brew the air force maybe secure Iraq free scientific prisoners if we were to win the great patriotic war we must allow imprisoned scientists to work for benefit our benefit happy 43 everybody though happy 43 Maybe more naval bombers, maybe? Yeah, we're going to need way more medium tanks and fighters. Holy crap. Keep seeing them convoys. bombing not bad and kill those Italian divisions off I mean America's in the war too but they should be able to finish off Japan not without too much of an issue but still or they take a while to move don't they a better infantry equipment Alexander Vasilis Vasilevsky nice passive defense I understand how they can death stack without any like penalties. Oh, that sucks, bro. Agent killed. It really sucks. Oh, we might still be able to win here, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Surround, surround, surround. Norway is oh. Well crap. That's not good. I should remember that the defense were going to die eventually, too. Did we actually win there? No, we didn't. Darn it. Bruh. Oh, yes. It's fine, that's fine. United Nations, the U.S. is seeking to release a worldwide declaration against tyranny, oppression, and imperialism, and they have decided to reach out to the major powers in order to show a united front. Should we join the declaration, perhaps better for us to stay? Nah. We're good. We actually won, wow. I can't believe we actually won there, huh? Hey, hopefully we can get here, though. UN, not bad. UNI, not bad. Things don't keep get, getting attacked, we might have a chance to think for the Odino. We must force the scientists to do the work exactly to our specifications within socialist ideology. Nice. Alright, tanky booze, you're gonna hopefully do okay down here. Getting evaded probably in. Oh boy. Then it got itself. Oh, that area, that's fine, whatever. Send half you guys. Oh, you actually got down here, nice. Seriously. Force it. Either we die or they die. No in between. I can't believe we actually took that, huh? Wow. Now they're still connected over here, which sucks, but you know what? Doing this gives us a good area for them to continually attack us. I hope we do well there too, so. Come on, man. They're on a port that they have no supply with. Um.
Passive defense, army department. Let them keep attacking us. Lost a million. I don't know, I'll call on our allies eventually, but not yet. I don't really feel like it yet. Alright. Bomber Ace Initiative. Um, get some of that too. Nice. Hey, we actually make it, made an encirclement. If we get close enough, we can capitulate with the Romanians quickly enough. Well, eventually. And we'll store these divisions next too. Which would be awesome. Seriously, how can you not win here? I know it's over a river, or port, or major ocean, or whatever, the sea. But they literally have no supply. They should be getting no supply in there. I don't care how many times it takes us to kill these guys off. They have to die, but improve our industry. We need engineers to work on a new industrial machinery to make sure maximum possible output. Let them keep attacking there. Now let the tanks do the rest of the work. Nice. Very, 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 very good. Awesome. So now you guys are great. We're going to come all the way down here, probably. I want to go here, here, here. See what we can do. And then if you guys keep getting attacked, oh, that's fine with us. My god. I just don't understand. Kill that stupid German division off. There we go. Thank god. That took way too long. Oh. Well, I mean, okay. It's finally joined the Allies. That's nice. Um... Keep you guys kind of around that location because they're gonna. They, you know, we know they're all, we all know they're gonna attack again there somewhat ish. Go tanky boys, go! How many light tanks do we not have? We, we're doing slightly better on fighters now. We got plenty of light tanks. We need some more medium tanks too, but overall, not bad. Haven't lost Ukraine yet. Sorry, forty-three. Obviously, front line has not moved very much yet, but still. Anything, I might actually convert, convince you guys to go here ish. If we could get to like Volden, that'd be great. Oh, you won! Nice job. I think they're doing better than I thought they would, I'll be honest. Galati would be nice next. A nice little toy to get for us. Yes. Rodian, there's all the commenter. No, I'll call them in eventually. I don't really feel like it yet, though. I want to get some more of this stuff, too. And improve industry and atomic spies. We gotta wait for that first. Uh, adopt army tactics. Most improve our tactics if we were to be victorious, I guess. Seems like a generic focus, though. Naval department, nice. Um, we got a lot of anti tank. What I one thing I would like to see change, like it just should just say infantry equipment. You should click, be able to click on it, and then say, "Oh, here's the actual list for infantry equipment." I think that'd be much easier. What about Dong Bai? Keep screwing him up. Hmm. Can we take Galati? Oh, oh Constantine. You can hear no. Darn it. Learn more, Constantine. Learn more. They stopped attacking, which is kind of sad. Uh. Honestly, if you could go there, that'd be awesome. Do that and circle nine divisions up here. I'm sorry that this is just so slow going. It's just there's not. I'm not sure what else we can do about this. I mean, the tanks are doing great. Get some more stuff here. Get some more of that here. Now you guys lost, huh? Sucks. Better fighters. You know what? Upgrade them. Uh, aircraft engine. Yeah, that one too. If you force the attack, you might be able to get there quick enough that you can actually m maybe win. Yes, yes, please. A, a, a! Come on, come on! Oh no, 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 no! We were so close. Hey, there we go. That's what we like to see. 
These guys are now cut off, and now they have to supply through the port, which is not bad for us. And you guys are still fighting for this dirt, huh? You know, the Germans are definitely huh, Germaning it up. That's a lot of divisions, not gonna lie. Well, at least it's less than 3 million, basically 3 million still, but still, whatever. Alright, so you guys have been doing alright. We gotta wait for some of these other divisions to get in there too, but whatever. That is fine with us. Oh, they are leaving, which sucks, but whatever. Um, yeah. Well, they have a lot of guys. You might as well attack them right now. It's only one division, which sucks, but whatever. Adapt army tactics, improve mechanization. Early attempts of mechanization has let us learn from our mistakes. Um, yeah, let's get some radar. Five more divisions. Oh my god. This is so bad. Hmm. Yeah, mass assault, like not even once. Mass assault sucks. I hate historical USSR and max buffing Germany. It's just so bad. There's nothing you can do. You can never get enough planes. You can never get anything that you really need here to be successful. I mean, maybe we can try general attack up here, but I kind of doubt it. Should we cuff? Not bad. Keep going, keep going. These things have learned to lose a lot, but... Guy, I want to do for some more fourth attack, but now... Nah. Come on, come on. We've got this. Of course, we could always just do... Uh, we could try general attack, but... Eh. Especially the concentrate stuff up north. You know, here's what we're gonna try. We could try general attack. Could become a spy master as well. But we do have the decipher encryption stuff, so what if we're gonna do that? And have a very You're gonna lose a lot of equipment doing this. Probably a really bad idea though. We'll pay for it in blood if we have to. Decryption's very good though, to have. Yeah, don't attack down here because we don't really don't really have the means to do so. Yeah, we're losing a lot on every single front here. Yeah, even with decryption, it's still not enough. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's going there like that. Because well, if we keep attacking and we run out of equipment, they um, I mean they have no equipment themselves, so. Group mechanization, new tank designs, the development of new tank designs will be paramount to our asserted dominance on the battlefield. Not bad. Hey, Königsberg's surrounded. That's not bad. It's better than I thought we would be able to do. I mean, we're going to pay for this in blood. I mean, we're kind of figured that one. There you go. Malinkovsky. Who is that? Caring leader, huh? He's supposed to be caring? How did... Okay, I thought you got encircled there. I'm like, holy crap, what the heck happened here? I mean, the northern offensive is not doing terrible. Things are a little disappointing, though. Are we out of equipment yet? Not yet. This would be smart to attack. Again, doing a general attack. Probably not very smart, period. Oh, we finally got Galati. Thank God. Are they taking us back? Oh, yeah. Oh, did they do a D-Day here? Looks like they're still out. Some anti-tank. Yeah, quite a bit of anti-tank still left. Yeah, I think it's good to probably pause this one.
Any pirates and stuff? Well, at least we took that tile. It's nice. Well, then we lost it immediately. Whatever. Yeah, that was extremely costly. But hey, we inflicted quite a few more casualties on the Germans, so that's not terrible. In my mind, that's like the most important thing. And you guys right here, and you six. Come back up here. We're gonna do a pincer right there. And cut off some more divisions. While the tanks, while they're trying to rest up, or just go straight on in. Okay. We're okay with that. What do you have? You guys are only 20 combos, which, which sucks, but they do have anti air, so that's pretty good too. Seriously, bro. And you're gonna get attacked immediately, which is fine. And then, what you're gonna do is go here. I'll look for like you. You hang out. You come down. And you're gonna actually force the attack. Because you guys are gonna go right there. Kolonev, new tank designs. The Kayutsha. Rocket artillery is like accurate, but more powerful. Some of these might be a good supplement to our equipment. Get over there, just in case. Um, since we're here anyways, um, organization would be really nice. Attack is not bad. Organization and more matrix entrenchment would not be bad, but they're already not attacking us, so I'd rather get uh, more organization. That's different. Oh, that's not bad either. There you go. That's nice. Go in. This is what we wanted to see. Maybe not this, but whatever. Nice. Help them out here. Two Bulgarian divisions gone, or this is a very, 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 very good thing. We have a lot of guys here, but that's okay. You don't need a lot of guys to do well. Nice. Not bad. I mean, we're slowly winning here. It just takes time, man. It just takes time. <sighs> oh, both those tiles. You should be able to win here. You should relatively easily be able to win here. Alright, so Germany. Keep doing that too. Tank-wise, where are we at? Go straight in. No. You're gonna force the attack. Oh, and they go back to the Republic of China. No one cares though. And we should be in there now. Come on. Nice. Good. Uh it's lagging really hard. Is it because Romania's flipping? All we have to do is capture Bucharest and does it flip? No, not yet. That's what I thought. Nice. Hey, look at that. Not bad up here, too. Did the... Oh, the allies have been invading. Don't want to discredit them too much. Not yet. Maybe eventually. Ooh, man. Okay, I think they're shifting divisions away from the front or something here. I'm not sure what's going on anymore. But, yeah, they're looking really weak. All right. Well, five, four, three, two. Let's kill off all of our, all of our manpower and supplies. Here we go. Hey, we finally got early radar done. Oh, get some more radar, too. We might just be able to win here, maybe. Hopefully. Do you have any other things? Just do it anyways. Just in case. Just mammoth fronts. Uh, 4.4 million have been lost. Well, we've suffered 1.4 million, really. And with them having no equipment, I mean, it just helps out so much. It just helps out so, so, so much. They still have no equipment. And right, we're running out of manpower. That's not good. Uh, rocketry efforts, they have... They're about 2 million manpower-ish. Well, quite a few divisions. r and is looking pretty good for them. Uh, Artillery-wise, they're completely out. Gun-wise, they're completely out. Yeah, I think they're... They might be done here. They still have probably quite a few planes, though. 
Um, support equipment is looking a lot worse. Holy crap. The Gaiucha? Nice. And... Appointed Patriarch? As per negotiations with the Metropolitan Sergius. Will allow the church to operate under the supervision of the NKVD, and Sergius will be appointed Patriarch of the Russian Orthodox Church. For now. Yeah, well now we're not winning so well. Then again, I mean... Still. Oh, peace conference. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Um, liberation of Warsaw, maybe eventually. Yeah, there's a bunch of French people just guarding Warsaw. We pushing into Hungary. We pushing into Hungary. Bulgaria too. These guys are encircled. Ah, it's delightful. Definitely not a historical version of us of the USSR fighting the Germans, but you know what? Whatever. Yeah, fighting the is gonna suck. We did get Lutz. It's not bad, though. Um, Konev, yes. Andre, you need a portrait, son. Yeah, go ahead and get him on there, too. Come on, allies. Keep pushing in. Pray for the nation. The people must pray for the USSR. Pray for the Red Army. And pray for the Iron Marshal. Nice. And then, re-imprison the clergy. Oh, okay. Uh, convert civilian factories? Well, we could do that. Consumer goods are not a priority right now, as if we cannot produce arms if we know what consumers to produce for. Not a bad opinion. Yeah, this is just bloody, bloody, bloody massacre on the way through the entire thing here. I'm still winning, don't get me wrong. I love winning. But it's pretty bloody. Combine arms? Eh, maybe. Panzer leader? Oh man, if you could win right there, that'd be so good, but that's mountains, that's gonna be pretty difficult. Actually, we've already taken out, claimed all of Poland, really. We got a couple Panzers still, they are running out of support equipment crazily fast. I mean, not crazily fast, but pretty fast. A lot of zeros still, awesome, awesome, I love seeing it. And they probably still have quite a few anti-tank guns, yeah, they do. Yeah, we don't have a lot of good air because we just don't have enough planes. There's more rubber. Fortunately, he's wounded, but oh well. Um, keep going more millies. Get more rubber, too. Nice. Come over here and grab. It's already 43. It's almost 44. Holy crap. Grab some of that. See what happens. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I don't know how weak Bulgaria is. That's kind of an issue, probably. Um, kind of probably cut down on some of this stuff, too. There we go. Hmm. Do that area. Oh, we need more guns now. Crap. Pray for the nation. Yes, here we go. And then... Rebuild the Navy. Eh. Befriend the Americans. The U.S. is an industrial powerhouse, which production levels are far greater than our own. If we improve relations with them, we might be able to get land lease agreements. Still working on a lot of stuff. We still have quite a bit of green, which I'm surprised. Seeing how bad, you know, our, uh, not picture, but land auction is. I can't wait to do this with no step back. Can't wait. Ah, screw we'll call him in now. Thanks, guys. The scars of famine heal. Look at this. The end of colonization has given the, name, the, the nation the chance to heal from the damage we have caused it. The famines are ending. People are beginning to have semblance of living standards once again. Not bad. Now it's even way more political power. Oh, boy. Ho, oh, oh ho, boy. Romania is gone, which means... Why don't they flip? They should honestly flip already. They're not putting a lot of German core territory, but the, the allies are doing quite well. I mean, we're pushing We're pushing so hard. We're losing so many men. 
They're below. Oh, they're below. Oh, one half million. If we keep it up, I'm mean, going to get a manpower too, but. And we're already out of guns. Oh, we have 9,000 guns now. Oh, because they're capitulated, but still. Deva? We could use our puppet stuff, but I don't really feel like it. Doing a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, I don't know how these guys are still struggling so much. I mean, we're struggling here just because our line doctrine sucks. But the AI, especially America, should have chosen superior firepower. These guys are all surrounded, which is awesome. Not bad. I mean, we're sucking here really hard, but whatever. I mean, it's about what you expect, you know? As oh, wow. I was hungry, but look at that. The axis of one... Oh, my gosh. How did Germany get down here and win? This is disgusting. The axis is so strong and the allies are so bad. Wait. Why are the allies blue? Oh, America wants to take over the faction. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. They're still holding on in Africa, which is surprising. This is not good. And this is not good either. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> we have allies invading Italy, but eh, they're doing okay-ish. They've lost Sicily, but they took over other areas. Huh. Alright, whatever. Konev, I'm taking some serious German territory now. Oh, we lost 2 million. Yeah. 2.1 million to the Germans. Even though we killed a 5.1 million, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. So depending... Oh, yeah, they're definitely pushing in harder now. Oh, good job, guys, I guess. Join the war? Oh, why not? Oh, look, more manpower. Oh. I mean, if they have no guns to fight with, how can they fight? re the clergy. Now that our victory is assured, the clergymen should go back to prison where they belong. <laughs> oh, we really capitulate. Hungry? Nice. Very nice. Keep pushing. Yeah, this is not very historical when they don't give us, like, the actual countries to flip and stuff like that, I think. Oh, oh, that's... Is that Yugoslavia? Yeah, it is Yugoslavia. That's fine. Yeah, we're definitely struggling down here. Oh, do we just take Sofia? Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. And there goes Bulgaria now. Come on, let's get to Berlin. They're running out of stuff. And we have more than enough equipment made already. Come on, kill them German boys. 5.4 million is not enough. PTRD, nice. You ding-dongs. That's a lot of divisions, actually. So many raise their map up, though. Alright, anything else here? I mean, besides fires, of course. Yeah, that's the worst thing we have, or we, I guess I should say, don't have. Nice. Stetten is ours. Uh, we're fighting over the Frankfurt Oder, on the Oder, quite a bit. Get on this way, if you can. The Slovak state is gone, good, good. Oh, Nitra, 12 German divisions, go bye-bye. Ah, yes, Vienna is a frontline city, guarded mostly by Italians. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Oh, they took to our ciphers now, huh? Ah, the end of the Reich as we know it, my friends. We definitely have not paid the price, but the Allies have lost more than we have. It's pretty bad. Yeah, free French. America's lost a lot, way more than they did historically. Wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 get it, Berlin. No one's moving into Berlin. That's our new home. Yeah, it's just Germany basically doing everything alone. It sucks to be a German in this timeline. I guess it's supposed to be historical, so. Must suck to be a German. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah. Both of you get in there now. Germania. Or, I guess it's not Germania, but you know, whatever. I'll keep building. We're running out of manpower, too. Oh, God, no. Yeah. Nice. Anything else over here? Ah. 
Berlin has been taken by... Oh, wow, they're already done capitulating. What? How? What? Why did they give up that easily? That's ridiculous. No, they should be able to push all the way over here and then push all the way through here and Munich can... Oh, my goodness. That makes literally no sense to me. Well, now I know it's got to die fast. Uh, what do I do with these things? Guns, maybe? There's a lot of suppression we need to do, but still. Just want to raise my conscription level, but whatever. But for now, I'll come down here, I guess. Town's got to go bye bye, I guess. I don't really want to send you over here. I don't want to lose my tank, so. Um, yeah, just go on in, guys. It's pretty free reign around here. So. Yeah. When do we win the war? Because I'm imprisoning the clergy right now. French industrial grants? Friend the Americans? If the industrial powerhouse the production levels are far greater than our own, if we improve relations with them, we might be able to get the lend lease agreements, maybe? Yes? No? Y'all doing great? 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 Just keep literally going on in? There's literally no one stopping us from moving on in? Mm, not sure what else to say. Maybe build some radar, perhaps? Invisible ink, maybe? One of them is down, it's nice. French state. We should r rush through these quite a bit faster now because of that. But alright. Uh, come on, America. Come on, allies. They can have the Benelux. They can have all that, but honestly, look at all this. They didn't, they didn't take much of Germany at all, so we'll probably take up pretty much all of Germany. I think it's only fair, isn't it? Is it not? I think it is. I think it is. Cavalry babies, go ambusher. You're pretty good on defending. Ah, <sighs> oh, we're doing okay. Excuse me, can I just have a general? I get rid of that. Here you go, Manpower. Thank you. Now we have an area where you guys can help out right now. Right here. Goodbye, clergy. Oh. Because we're going to serve by requirement then. After that, French industrial grants, military coordination. It's possible that we would need to fight alongside the French soldiers. Thus, we should offer mutual uh, military access to the French. Oh my god, guys. Please, please, just win the war here. Uh, how much do we need to capitulate Italy? I can't imagine them lasting that much longer. I mean, we haven't really hurt them as bad as we did the Germans, but still... So, half a million manpower. Uh, Gun-wise, they're doing really badly. Okay, they're doing really bad. Okay. Still. This was all taken out before. And America, please take them out. Please take them out. Come on. I want to see what the peace deal is going to be like. If you'd like to go in there too, that'd be great. <sighs> Why is America not invading? Or anyone else invading down through here? Please just don't, don't take the territory so we, at least we can move through here quickly, please. I don't mind if you force the attack. Just so you can, Oh well, some German boys still there, huh? No, I'm not going to dissolve the commentary, not yet. How many times have we killed? 400,000, huh? It's a good thing Turkey never came into the war, though. Quite a good thing. Mm. 
Befriend Le Americanos. Pretty darn lag, you're not gonna lie. Looks like we lost a few divisions here, huh? Not bad. Ah, there's another tile down there too. I didn't see that one earlier. Alright. Please tell me someone's going to invade Sicily. I do not want to invade Sicily so badly. 76% is not bad. Egypt is in their faction too, so... Um, they should be doing pretty darn well in Africa, but then again, it's the AI I would expect. Absolute perfection. Of course, that's what you expect. Nice. Um, yeah. Military coordination with France. French industrial grants. They stand in the pack. The American government signed a proposal for a non-aggression pack. Not only will we be defended from the attack, we have opened a new avenue for cooperation. Excellent. French industry is very capable. We should pay them to help us build up our industrial armies. Or industry, industry and stuff like that. Honestly, we're getting really close. We might not need to get Sicily. We might need it, but maybe not. Oh, no. They invaded. Good. I, I bet there's a focus tree after this, too, but we'll see. Yeah, oh, we got him. All right, so let's see what happens. All right, so we don't have Poland, which sucks. I should have went to war with them, but I don't want to go to war with the Allies. I swear, I'm, I'm not going to go to the war with those guys. Free French. You can just deal with that. Um, we'll give the UK the Dutch. Actually, maybe not. Where's your set? There you go. Uh, the Dutch should get the Dutch territories, right? Yeah. Um, the Belgians should probably get this territory back, too, which I don't really want them to, but whatever. I gave this to them. Oh, we took that? Oh, god dang it, whatever. Um, honestly, I'm taking all this. I mean, we basically earned this. Uh, Bulgaria, we take it as well. Romania. Hungary. Slovak State. Sorry, America, you're not going to get anything any out of this deal. Give this to Egypt. Um, honestly, we're going to take all this as well. But I will give... Let's give it to America. They did show up and did something here. At least a little bit. You can have Cecilia and this one. That's what you get. I get the rest. End of the war. The imperialist attackers have been repelled and destroyed. A new era of peace now reigns over the nation or the union of Soviet Social Republics. Thanks to their army, the Iron Marshal, and the Generalismus, Comrade Stalin. Military parades and celebrations are already underway, and with the people ready to see the fruits of their labor. May peace last another 50 years. Well, so much for Poland. Um, even though I think I'm going to save the rest of this for uh, the next episode, just to see what could happen. So, let's go and do societal reconstruction. The great patriotic war is taking a large toll on the people and the country as a whole. We must rebuild. But, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next episode, which will probably be the last one to see what the post-war focus tree in Calm Before the Storm mod for the Soviet bloc, or the USSR, will be. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.